everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing man? I'm doing amazing. Hopefully you guys are doing fantastic because today I'm going to be making this really really cool Hobbit Hole storage that I have here on the Source Block server. Here I'm hanging out. Let me flip. Let me show you what's inside and we'll build this thing in a second. So right here as we come on in this is the Hobbit Hole storage and I love it. It's perfect. It's awesome for starter storage. I don't need anything more than this. This is actually it. This is perfect. So we got some chests on the side here we got some barrels in the center we got that nice little archway feel you normally get inside a hobby uh, open the door hello is anybody here no okay so this is pretty awesome in the back we got our furnaces blast furnaces and smokers we got an anvil with uh some crafty benches and look at that ceiling cool little vaulted look but we're gonna build this thing right now block for block so let's start this out right now all right, and here we go. Let's get this started. So I dug out the area. We're going to count the blocks right now. So you can dig this out pretty much on the side of any mound or hill, and it will work out just fine. You're going to need six total blocks of height from top to bottom. The last level here is going to be for flooring. So technically, it's going to be five high from the actual floor you're going to be standing on. But let's start counting blocks. I'm going to do the flooring out of oak like we have in our source block video. So let's start counting blocks right now. So as we come on in, for now, I'm just going to do a little three by three entrance just like this, and we'll do the door as well. But for now, let's just come in so right here we're gonna count one two three four five so from center there's five blocks in total so let's do this I'm just gonna go from end to end and then we'll work out the little pop-out area so let's do this right now so this is five long and then from here this is a one so two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen from this line but we're gonna go in one more so sixteen right there then we're gonna go again one two three four five and we're just gonna cover this whole thing up so just go right back to the other end and we're just gonna fill all this out right now in our oak all right so it should look like this to start out with so now we're gonna turn this corner so from right here this is the one on the two right here I'm gonna grab a log and take it up right here on this corner. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now this bottom one, you're not gonna see, so you don't need to put it there. We're just gonna put it for the tutorial though. So right here, we're gonna give it a space of one, two, three, four, five. And then here, we're gonna go up again, all the way to the top. So we have a little five block gap space from this pillar to this one. And then in the middle gap, you're just gonna fill it in. So put one block here, two, two, and then cover all this up right to there leaving this little spot open for uh, the center where we're going to put the chests. Then let's repeat this over here. So really quick from this pillar, we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, and another pillar. And this goes to the top just like that. And then we're going to fill this gap. One, two, three, four, five. Now this one, we're going to cover those up. We're not going to see that. And that's going to be set up right there. So right from this pillar, you're going to count. It's really one, two, three, four, five. Right here, we're gonna put another one, and we're just gonna do pretty much a mirror job. So, right here, one, two, three, four, five, going all the way to the top, and again here, one, two, three, four, five, and go all the way to the top with this log right there. And then just filling in the gap. So one, two, all the way back, and one here, and then again over here, one, two, all the way back, and one there. So it should look like this to start out. All right, now that we have this mirror, let's turn our attention over here to this corner here. So we're gonna grab spruce, and we're just gonna go up right here on this edge right here. One, two, three, four, and five. Then we're just gonna cover up this whole back wall. So one, two, three, four, and five here. And then here, one, two, three, four, and five. So this is gonna get covered up on that side. So now, we're just gonna come back in here and repeat the same thing. So we don't have to put one in this back corner. We can just go here, one, two, three, four, and five five up here let's take this one all the way to the very very top and then here we're just going to cover up this section so technically here we can cover that little bit up and take this down so it's going to look pretty much just like that on this side so now let's repeat this over here so just like that this side gets mirrored to this side and it's super simple we're just going to dig in by one and we're going to put all of our chests up against that wall now for this part back here we're just going to cover this up so right here we're just going to go with our spruce all the way top to bottom all the way this way top to bottom and then this is also recessed in by one so we're just going to take this all the way back just like that so this side is also mirrored all right, now the next thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and just bring this beam down all the way down like so. And we're gonna cross beam all of these right here. So every one of these beams is gonna get cross beamed to the next one, just like, oop, just like so. And this goes all the way around. Also, we're gonna put a beam right in the middle, just like so. 
here also one more beam and then all those should be connected just like that then the next thing i'm going to do we're going to put some slabs right here on the top so we can go ahead and close those chests that we place on the top side of that so just go all the way down with slabs now we're going to add some details here with slabs so let's go with a full block here and a slab full block and a slab trap door just like that and we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around just like so except for this one let's hold off on this front and this back one but for now we're just going to repeat this all the way around just like so all right now for the front and back this is going to look like this so two full blocks two full right there we're going to go with a slab in the center and a stair on this side and a stair on this side so we get that archway feel also we're going to put some stairs on the bottom right here and then some trap doors in those gaps just like so now let's repeat this one on this side so we'll do it together so two folds well two folds here and here slab stair here stair on the bottom stair down and a stair right there and then trap doors all the way around so we have that cool little archway feel and then next thing we're going to do we're going to put stairs on the bottom ends just like so and we're going to curve these around so it mirrors from front to back just like so 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 far so good this place is looking awesome now next thing we're going to do is work on the ceiling over here so this is what we're starting out with we're going with our oak and i'm going to put oak right here on the corners so all the corners are going to get an oak full block then we're going to go with a slab on the top level just like so and that's going to circle all the way around then i'm going to go on the inside part here and i'm going to put a full block of our oak just like so on the inside and then we're gonna bring in our spruce now though. This is what we're gonna do. Let's knock that out, put a spruce, knock this down, put a spruce up top, knock this one, and we're gonna go ahead and just repeat this pattern all the way around. Let's get rid of that till it looks just like so. So once we have that, we're gonna grab our log and pop it down just like so. Grab a wall, I'm gonna go with a cobble wall, make it simple, drop that down, then grab a lantern and we're gonna put the lantern right in the center like so. So that is our little vaulted ceiling look. Now let's repeat this one on the other side. All right, now that we have that set up, everything is mirrored from one side to the next. It's looking really nice. Now over here, let's start working on the chest. So we're just gonna pretty simply just put chests going all the way down, just like so. So we're gonna do pretty much a four double chests on one side, four on another, and then just barrels in the center. Now there's different ways to do this. You could technically knock this wall back one more, and if you want more storage, you can pretty much put them like so, sideways. Like that just stick them all the way down if you want more space so it's really up to you guys for me i have this in the uh in the source block uh, uh smp because i don't need any more that's pretty much it we don't have to go too crazy with it uh, if you want more space definitely do it sideways but for me i think this is pretty good for a little starter area that i'm really not going to spend that long here uh even though I, I i don't see me leaving anytime soon there but it's fine so you're pretty much going to set this up just like so and there we go all the chests are set up from one side to the next and that's looking super awesome again if you guys want to have more storage just put your chest sideways you can fit more or another option is back here now this is endless in possibilities you can pretty much leave this open and keep going straight down and keep adding another section and another section another section of storage all the way down or you can branch out from left to right and keep this theme going non-stop you can also make this section back here into anything you can put your bedroom back here you can put a enchanting station you can put another portal the options are endless with this style but if you guys want to do it exactly how i have it in the source block server super simple back here we just going to add some stuff so right here i'm going to put smokers i'm going to put furnaces and blast furnaces just up against the wall then we're going to put some barrels i got one two there's another barrel this is a barrel one two and three here on this side one two and three on this side and then an extra little sneaky barrel on the top down here i have an anvil on one side and i have two crafting benches one on each side and that is it for this place now Let's do this wall right here. Let me show you how to do the front door. All right, now the door is super simple. We're just gonna be mixing some stripped birch and stripped oak, and that's it. We're just gonna pretty much just seal all this up right here, all the way from top to bottom, just like that, leaving a little spot for a door. And then here, let me just bring in a little bit of the birch, and you can use pretty much any of them, or a combination, or just one or the other, or anything else really. Just gonna randomly just scatter that, just like that, so it looks random, uh, but it looks pretty cool. And then we're just gonna put a little birch, uh, not a birch, what are you talking about? Uh, a spruce door, <laughs> just like that. So that's super simple, and it looks really, really awesome. Now, let's do the other side. 
All right, now time for the front. So if you notice right here, we have a three high, three high, this one's a four, and two more three highs, and that's your front door right there. So let's grab some of our spruce stairs. I'm gonna put an upside down right here, one on this side, one facing down here, and one facing down on this side. Then we're gonna grab some trap doors, put one all the way around, just like so, giving this cool little circular look. Then we're gonna grab our oak log, and right here we're gonna go up one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, cross beam right there. Then let's put a stair, one down and one down here. I'm gonna put one up and one upside down here. Trap doors in the little middle gaps. Then here we're gonna grab this log and go out by one and two more. One and two more, just like that. We're gonna grab our upside down stairs, put one here and here. And then in the middle, we're gonna put a little trap door. We're gonna put another trap here and there. Then, next up, let's grab our log again, and right here on this side, we're gonna go up one, two, three, and four. Over here as well, one, two, three, and four, right next to those stairs. Then, we're gonna put a stair facing forward, a stair facing forward over here. Then, I'm gonna put a stair facing upside down on this side, and another upside down here. Trap doors in those little middle gaps, like so. Then, I'm gonna grab a stair, place one down right here. I'm gonna place another one on this side, then on the top part right here, we're gonna put a trapdoor. One here and one there. Then we're gonna grab our slab. We're gonna put one here and here and a stair facing downwards right there. And this, once we put our two buttons right there, is it. <laughs> that is our hobbit hole entrance, but we can go ahead and mess around this a little bit. Actually, this one, you could put that down and this one, you could put that down. We could even take this down more if you want, if you have it more extended. And then if you want, you can also continue this roof style, just like so, if you don't have it all the way connected. So a full block there and a slab. So if you have it off to the side like that, that's fine. You can continue that roof going back. But now what I suggest is just adding um, dirt, dirt and bush and just molding this to the wall right here instead of having it just pop out randomly. So let's do a little bit of terraforming back here so you can see what it would look like if we kind of melded it in a little bit to what's happening with this side of the mound. So something like that would do, I think, right there. That looks pretty good. And just go crazy, just add as much detail as you can. Put some, maybe some uh, regular old stone right there. Adding some cobble. If you have a tree, maybe take it down all the way. Maybe it has some roots kind of exposed and going down like that will look kind of cool, kind of like connected to that. Or if anything, also change the tree type. Uh, if you do it like that though, I would do it with the main bark block instead of seeing that exposed log piece. And it kind of blends in pretty good with the side of that right there. And then you can add things like bushes and uh, we could put fences here on the side uh, and just go, go crazy, have fun. Uh, pretty much what I did, I just spammed a bunch of random blocks and flowers and stuff like that. But something like this would look pretty good. And I think if you would just play around with this side here, this would look pretty awesome. But we're looking good. Now, once you have it all set up, it might not look exactly like this. But you know what? For inspiration here, some stuff you could do. Some bushes, some tall grass, some sweet berries, some bamboo. Maybe even adding some nether wart. Different kinds of bushes around, different flowers. And just play around. Make it your own. Make it unique. And just go crazy. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this, though. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if there's any other source block videos you guys want me to do tutorials on, maybe. That greenhouse? I don't know. Let me know down below, and I might be uh, doing it in an upcoming episode. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next episode, video, or tutorial, or next. I'll see you, I'll see you next time. <laughs> All right, goodbye.